Why is nature intelligible? You know, one of the most remarkable things about the world that we live in is that as human beings, we can actually understand it, that we can use scientific methods to study and analyze and characterize and categorize different features of nature, and through that process, make sense of nature. And we can use that understanding to not only predict what's going to happen in nature, but also to develop technologies that promote human flourishing. It's remarkable to me as a scientist that there are laws of nature, and that many times these laws of nature are simple mathematical equations that can be used to characterize complex phenomena. It's remarkable to me that there are these mathematical relationships like the golden ratio that characterize and describe spiral galaxies and the spiral shells of snails. As a chemist, I'm amazed that a set of simple rules can be used to organize all the chemical elements in the universe into a table, into the periodic table, that allows us to predict the chemical and physical properties of elements in the table and in turn to predict the chemical properties of compounds those elements form. It's remarkable that the universe is intelligible, that nature is comprehensible. Well, why is that? Well, that leads us to an argument for God's existence that we might call the argument from intelligibility. It goes something like this, that if the universe is a brute reality, if it's just simply mechanistic forces that have produced the universe, there's no reason to think that the universe would be comprehensible. But if the universe is created by a God who is a God of order, a God who is righteous, we would expect order and regularity and predictability to be part of creation. And if this God has chosen to reveal himself to us through the creation, we would expect that, again, nature itself would be comprehensible to us. It would be intelligible. And if human beings are the product of an evolutionary history, if, we're, if our minds have been assembled through an evolutionary process, there's no reason to think that we would have the wherewithal to make sense of the world around us. But if we're made in God's image, made to, be, to, re, to see God's fingerprints in the creation, then of course we would expect nature to be intelligible. We would expect nature to be comprehensible, and indeed it is. There's another aspect about the intelligibility of nature that's important. It reflects God's care and love for us because it's through our ability to understand the universe that we can develop technologies that allow us to promote human flourishing. If you want to know more about how science relates to the Christian faith, I invite you to go to our YouTube channel, Reasons to Believe, and subscribe. There you can get access to all kinds of great video content that explores a wide range of questions relating to science and Christianity.